hey all of you hope you guys are great so this is where we left in the last video we have successfully refactored the entire code according to the mvc model so in this video we're going to continue where we left so let's move to that so here we can come here and the first thing we have to do is let's get back into the nft route and let's come here so this is all we have done in the last video now we're going to work with the id okay so we're going to talk about the prams middleware okay so as a developer i have to be very creative and i have to think that what kind of possibilities are there a user can make a request on our api so in case of the single nft you can see that in case of the single nft update nft delete nft user are making request on id okay so it's always better to create a separate middleware for that id okay so that's what we're going to do in this i hope you guys will find something new okay so this is how we can define we have the route variable and on that we're going to call this params okay and generally what it happens here we have access to three variables okay so we have the access to request we have the access of response and we have the access of next okay nothing's new you guys are following this and we have one more which is a value okay so this params route not actually three it has four so request response next and value and we're going to call this callback function and let me console log out the value exactly id okay so let's log out the id and here we're going to call this value okay so whenever someone will make any request on the ids and this will only work for the nft not for the user router because this is what we have defined in the nft route not in user route so that's an obvious thing wherever you will define that will only run on that particular data resource so this is the params and we have to call this next otherwise our so it will stuck okay so to continue we have to provide this next so nothing new now so that's the one we have now we can come here and let's come back to the get and this time what we i want to do is i want to make a request on the get all nft so if i do that you will find that there is no log here okay so everything's working fine and in our terminal you can see the morgan dev request that we make a request on our data resource nft resource complete nft resource and we can't able to get the id because we are not making the request on the id okay we are making the request on the entire data but if i come here if i go to the single and here we have this id4 if i make a request i'll get that id okay so here i get the id you can see i got the id4 so this will only work on the ids not on the entire resource so i hope this concept is get clear that why we have built this pram middleware so here you can see in the nft controller we are checking for the id whether we are calling the delete nft update nft or get single nft we are doing the check for the id so it's a very repetitive code and writing the same code in all these three functions so it's always better that you have to create a separate function as a middleware which uh, which run every time whenever any request goes on id okay and that's why we have taken that id variable so i'm going to simply cut this one and i'm going to use this params as a middleware okay so let's come up here and we're going to create one more functions and i'll call it export because we have to export from here and we'll have check id here we're going to provide that request response next and value and here we're going to have this arrow back and here we're going to check for an id hope this makes sense so whenever anybody requests an id this function will get executed so here make sure you have to provide this return keyword otherwise the function will not execute and it will stuck okay so that's what we have here looking good and let me call this next so that looks perfectly now what we're going to do is i'm going to simply cut this and i'm going to simply paste here so i can see that what request id request user are making and here i'm going to simply rim move this and i'm going to call the function directly okay nft dot check id okay nothing new you guys know from where we are getting this function check id so that's looking fine and now we can easily able to use that function as a middleware okay that looks fine and this is what we have here which will only run on the id and we are calling the nest let's come back and let's do the test so here we have the we can go into this single and we will make a request so you can see we got the data number four id4 and we can change this to let's say two make a request and here we get it and you can see in the terminal we got this id4 and id2 so this is working fine 
okay this is working fine so hope you guys have got the concept that how you have to use the prime middleware on the ids okay so now we have to do one more thing here in our create nft because when we are getting the data from the user we have to check that the user are providing all the data or not okay so we have to have a function we don't want to have a incomplete data in our database for the nfts we want to have a complete data so we have to create a function for that as well so let's come here and the function we go to create right up here and we have to export it and we'll call it check check body okay and it's going to be an arrow function we have access to request response and next and if name is request dot body in which we have the name okay so i believe that you guys haven't forgot that from where we are getting this name data okay so all the data which user will send will have in this request rec dot body and from there we want to access the one data okay name data same thing we have to do is for the let's come here and so name when we have the check for the price as well price so i'm just showing you that how you can use it as a guard class we're going to make it more robust system when we'll actually get the data from the uh, from the we get the data from the user and upload to the database okay so right now we are building this custom check functions so you guys know how you can write custom function as well and we're going to send the data send back okay so first we'll say that fail and we'll say message and we'll say date missing data okay so if the user not provide the name or if they don't provide the price then we want to send this message back okay and that's looking fine now close this one and here we going to call the function so we have to call the function on create nft okay so if i come here and close this one close this one save it first and let's try to create an nft okay simply remove this one we are passing only name okay no price so if i make a request you can see i got this 18 id 18 and nft so without applying that function we are able to create a kid okay now we come here and now we're going to apply the function which we have created okay so we'll come here copy this function and now we have to apply here so we'll type nft control then this and we have to provide this dot so this is how you can separate and chain multiple check on the same route okay so first this check body function will run and once it gets success then it will go to the next middleware next function which is a create nft so looking fine so far okay so far everything is looking good now let's come here and here you can see now if i try to make a request you can see i got missing name and price and this is the exact message we are getting from here but if i pri provide the price i'll i'll get the success message so let's say 20 price and if i hit enter okay our middleware got stuck I think we forgot to use the next keyword okay it's stuck so let's close this one and let's come back uh, let's make a request it's still stuck let's come back to the code and here i forgot to add the next okay so i believe that you guys have seen that how important it is to provide the next keyword which will take into the next function otherwise it will stuck so let's call the next and now we can easily able to create nft now simply create on create and here you can see we have id 18 name and the price so if you remove that we'll get an error okay missing data if you provide that hit the request and here you get the success so things are looking fine so that's how you can create check body function as a middleware how you can create a prams middleware for checking the id so hope so far whatever we have covered in this video it's making sense to you okay the only reason we are doing this because I want to make you familiarize that you can create your own custom function. You don't need to always depend on third party packages or NPN packages. If you want to add certain functionality, you can create a middleware like this and you can add that. So that's looking absolutely good. So that's how we have successfully structured the data. Let's close all this. Now let's come here. So that's the only thing I want to cover about this. That how you can use the prams as a middleware to put a guard class on the ids and how you can create a check body function to check the incoming data which is coming from the user so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you guys have found this valuable now with, with that now with that let's move to the next video